uh, troubled kids. When you see someone who's been through a really rough time, for them to turn that all around, that is inspiring to me. Change inspires me. Change has always been a positive thing for me uh, because I have been able to get ahead in life when I embrace it. When I resist it, it's hard. <laughs> Seeing something that I believe is unfair or unequitable, then I think it needs to be corrected. In, in the trans community, what motivates me uh, is uh, making sure no one goes through the uh, experience I did. I remember how dangerous it was. Some 10-year-old is, is tooling along, not knowing what on earth is happening. And uh, I'm very much committed to making sure it doesn't happen. There is just so much to be done, and someone has to do it. And we all can't solve every problem that exists, but every one of us can do something. And one of the calls that I got was from a woman, and she said, last night, my husband and I and our son watched the school board meeting on television, and because of what you said and did last night, my husband and I don't think that our son was going to kill himself. And I just had to call and thank you for keeping my precious baby alive. And that incident just has really gone on to inspire me and keep me strong when, when there were weak times. And, and there's a sequel. Once the loved one is out, then those families are a part of the effort. And they know that the stereotypes and the prejudices that are um, propagated toward LGBTQ people are lies. I really believe strongly in human rights, and I believe strongly in the idea that everybody should be welcome. For the LGBTQ community in particular, they're still not welcome everywhere. And there are a lot of challenges to their human rights. And straight allies play an extremely important role uh, because they, their voice can reach the ears of people who don't understand, who are still expressing hate and bigotry. And I didn't know about that until I learned about that from my gay friends. I would tell them to turn their scars into stars. It's really about appreciation for life and just looking at not the things that are going against you or the people that hate you or the people or your parents who abuse you. Start looking at what's good about you. There's so much that can be done if you start believing in yourself. Things change and uh, things do get better. Um, there are people out there that care. If, uh, if a door closes, there will be another one that will open. Just keep knocking. I would say keep on keeping on. Um, uh, and don't buy into the drama. Just um, be who you are, be honest about who you are, uh, and um, be unapologetic about who you are. And if you actually do have some flaws, and we all do, work on them. <laughs> I've learned that sometimes it's better to leave a closed mind alone and go on to the next person because sometimes you, you're not going to change a closed mind. Um, if, if, there, if you see there's a, a crack there, maybe try to go for it, but otherwise move on because there's somebody else that probably is willing to listen. I would have been a much happier person if I simply owned who I am and acted accordingly and uh, I didn't quite get that message uh, until I was like 55. Um, the one is to never give up. If there's something you want to accomplish, a goal you have, you keep moving towards that goal. You can't give up on yourself. We all face challenges, but just 
keeping moving forward, taking one step at a time, even if all you can do is take one step. And that is the secret to life, never give up. Deciding to be grateful in any situation lifts me up, changes my attitude, can change my behavior. That has been a huge lesson for me. I need to, I mean, giving you these little sermonettes, I, I should, I'm, I'm gonna have an altar call and an offering here pretty, pretty soon. Brace yourself. Oh, llamas, that is so easy. <laughs> They're beautiful. Um, there's nothing about a llama that isn't good. A snake always comes to my mind because they are very misunderstood. People fear them, but if you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. And, uh, and they make their presence known. Oh, I'd be a dog. There is such great unconditional love. Every time I'd come home, the dog is just like, I am so glad to see you. You've been gone forever. I love you no matter what's happened today. I love you, I accept you, I'm here for you, I adore you. And they just exude love and acceptance. Probably an elephant. They seem at peace. Uh, and at the same time, they are very, very strong. And they can be very, very dangerous. Uh, they look out for one another. <laughs> and I admire that quality. Either a dog or a cat of a lesbian couple. Have you ever met a dog or a cat of a lesbian couple? They're pretty spoiled. <laughs> I, you know, I think it might be an ox of some sort. I'm pretty content, but uh, God help you if you cross me. Yeah, very few people have ever done that. Uh, when they have, it has not brought out the best in me. My native name, is Eagle Heart Woman, Chante Wambadiwio. An eagle has that um, single-mindedness pursuit of um, what they believe should happen. I'd like to see permanent inclusion of the LGBT community in all laws and not always have these fights the recognition that all families are families and that all couples are able to to raise children and have a family. Fully functional trans people during the entirety of their lives. All people being treated for the wonderful people they are, not being discriminated against. I want to see a federal law passed um, to end discrimination in employment and housing. I would like to talk about the important value of One Iowa and the Des Moines Magazine in recognizing allies because it helps demonstrate that allies play a vital role in LGBTQ equality and hopefully it will encourage other people who may be like I used to be, yeah we believe in inclusion, I've got some friends, but to help them see that they, if they want to, they can do more. They can learn how to speak up and stand out as an ally. But I think it's very important to, uh, for spaces like, like this, like the awards, to uh, make it a priority to start honoring people of color. It's, it's great to see. I would like to see, before I die, a huge turn away from hatred into respecting diversity. And not just those folks in the United States, but frankly around the world.